Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be pairing this Apple Pencil with your iPad. Now, it doesn't matter which iPad you guys have, whether it's the iPad Air, iPad Pro, as long as your iPad is compatible with this Apple Pencil second generation, this is how to set it up. So right here, we have one of our iPads in the background. In order to pair it up, it's extremely easy because all we have to do is just attach it and that's about it. What I always suggest turning on Bluetooth. But anyways, let's just get started. What we're gonna do is attach this flat surface. So the flat surface of your Apple Pencil, that's gonna be attached to your iPad. So this is what you have to do in order to charge your Apple Pencil. And since right now we're gonna pair it, since we're setting it up, let's just go ahead and do that. Now on your iPad, on one of the sides, you will notice this thing right here. Well, that's where you attach your Apple Pencil. So we're gonna place it on the top. It's just gonna snap in and we're gonna see Apple Pencil right there. So again, that's at the top of our iPad and right now it's actually already paired. So what I can do at this point is just take it out and I can start using it. So I can move throughout the screens. However, you guys bought this in order to actually draw stuff and take notes and do stuff like that. So let's just start off with notes. So here are my notes. What I can just start doing right here is just drawing. So here we go. I'm just gonna place this at a different angle. There's a lot of apps out there that help you draw. There's a bunch of them. Now what's different between this Apple Pencil and the first generation is that you can actually tap, you can tap twice and that will toggle my eraser. So I can actually erase the stuff that I just did. And if I tap twice again, I can toggle so I can draw once again. To check the battery, all we have to do is just go to our widgets. So just slide up and then you're gonna see this. If you don't see a widget that tells you your battery, you can add it on. So let me just focus in a little bit better. And to add on a widget here, I'm just gonna show you, just hold on here. You're gonna see this option to edit home screen. Just go to it, then your plus sign on the top and go ahead and look for battery. So I actually have that option as my third option. However, if I didn't have that, I would just search for the widget battery, which is up here and I can tap right there. Now there's several ways to display your battery. I think the best way would be just to go in for a percentage. So with the percentage, you can actually see it. Um, if we just scroll, you can also see it listed like so. So we can also see our Apple Pencil right here, which is at 60% and then any other batteries. So any of these views work just fine. I'm just gonna add this to right here. And if I scroll down on my widgets, I'm just gonna see that one right there. Where it's gonna tell me how much it's charging and what's the percentage right now. I can just tap anywhere and I'm done. But even if I take the Apple Pencil away, so right now I just took it away from charging. If I go back here, I'm still gonna see how much charge it is at at the moment. So right now it's showing me that it's at 64%. But anyways, that would be it for the setup of your Apple Pencil. It's extremely easy. That's how you guys can check your battery life and that's how you guys can use this. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.